Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let's praise the Lord this morning. Another great day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. The scripture tells us in the book of Psalm that the Lord fills our mouth with singing. Let's read that scripture. Psalm 126, 2. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Then said they among the heathen, the Lord has done great things for them. And look at that part. It says the Lord has done great things. That's the kind of God that we serve. The God who does great and mighty things. Believe and expect God to do these kind of things in your life. You know, we should never see the Lord as he can do some things, but he can't do others. Now, when I read the scripture, he says, with God, all things are possible. And he said, if you can believe, all things are possible to them that believe. Our believing is tied to our receiving from God. It's not only what God said, but when you connect your faith with that promise, you believe it, you speak it, you praise him like you've already received it. You're not waiting till you see the answer, but you're already in expectation. You take a promise that God has given you and you hold fast to that. And if God said it and you believe it, it shall come to pass in your life. See, these are not words that we just read. We can believe them and believe that they will manifest in our lives. Amen. The Lord does great things. Hallelujah. So let's begin to sing it. And all of you joining us online, sing along as we praise the Lord. He has done great things for us. Wherever you are watching from, we believe today the Lord will minister unto you. There is no limit with our God. And as we are singing, believe you can receive your healing. You can receive wisdom in your mind and believe that God is working mighty things. That's the God we serve, a God who does great things. Join us as we praise the Lord together. Father God, we come before you this morning and we call you our Jehovah Jireh, the Lord, our provider. You are a God who does great and mighty things. With you, Lord, there is nothing that is impossible. And we believe and we set our faith in agreement with your promises. Because you said, if you can believe, all things are possible. And Father, we choose to believe. We choose to take fast hold of these promises, knowing that these promises are yes and amen. And Father, we're so grateful and thankful that we can partake of your divine nature. That's what you said in your word. We are partakers of your very nature. And the promises that you have given us are exceeding great and precious promises. And we believe it and we receive them in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's take the joy of the Lord as medicine. Singing and praising God is medication to our bodies. That's what the Lord says. A merry heart is good like a medicine. So let's fill our mouth with laughter and with singing for the Lord has done great things. Hallelujah. 
And let's continue to praise the Lord, rejoicing in His goodness, taking some more medicine, joy of the Lord that is our strength. Glory to God. Yes. 
for freedom. Whom the Son sets free is free indeed. Amen. Amen. Jesus said, when you continue in my word, you shall know the truth and the truth will set you free. The truth doesn't keep you bound. You see, the spirit that we have received, the Holy Ghost in us is not a spirit of bondage. That's what the Lord said. Through Paul, he writes about his spirit and he said, the spirit that you have is not a spirit of bondage again to fear, but he's a spirit of adoption. He has adopted you into his family. And you can just cry out, Abba, Father. You see, that's why we can be free in the presence of the Lord. We can just lift our hands, we can clap and we can dance before him because he's a God of freedom. He's not a God who keeps us bound. Hallelujah. And one of the things we see in the word is healing is a blessing that he has given us. God wants you to be well. He wants you to be free from bondage. That's his promise. In the book of Psalm 103, it says, in verse 3, he said, Forget not all his benefits, who forgives all of your iniquities or your mistakes, and he heals all your diseases. Mm -hmm. He doesn't heal some diseases, he heals all diseases. Amen. Yes. The word says in Matthew chapter 8, everywhere Jesus went, he healed all that were sick. Right. So you can, if you're going through a condition in your body, you bring it under the blood and say, Lord, according to your word, you said you heal all my diseases. And you speak to your body. You see, that's the, that's the authority we've been given from the Lord. To speak to sickness. You know, if something is troubling you physically, symptoms, talk to it. Say, hear you the word of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Symptoms, leave my body right now in the name of Jesus. And then start declaring promises and say, Lord, you said in your word that you heal all my diseases. From the top of my head to the sole of my feet, I can believe that I am healed by the stripes of Jesus. You see, Jesus paid a heavy price when they beat him with 39 stripes. He was carrying all of our sickness on his back. All the diseases that are in the world, it was on him. And the promise you have is because he carried your sickness, you can have healing. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Isn't that wonderful? You can have a healed body on this earth because of the promise he's given you. Let's sing this healing song. And you know, one of the things that we need to overcome is doubt. Because when you still feel those symptoms in your body, the devil will try to tell you that the word doesn't work. It's not for today, maybe it's not for you. Or he might even say, maybe God is teaching you something from this. Well, all those are lies. Don't believe that. Believe the truth. Because the word says clearly, he heals all your diseases. Amen. Let's declare from the top of my head. Let's say it together. From the top of my head. From the top of my head. To the sole of my feet. To the soles of my feet. I am healed. I am healed. And I am whole. And I am whole. Amen. Amen. The word whole means to have a sound body. To be well in every part of you. Amen. That's a promise we have. Let's sing it together. To me resounded 
You're doing great things. Hallelujah. A God of great and mighty wonders. Hallelujah. His word is working. The same God that rolled back those waters. He's here with us. Hallelujah. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hallelujah. Father, we call you great. We call you mighty, Lord. And you are working in our midst, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, praise God. He rolled back the waters of the mighty Red Sea. And he's the same God with us. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God.
The word of our confession is so important. Speaking the word brings life. It works. It's a working word as we've been singing about it. So let's make some promises, declarations. And these are all from the word of God. You know, many times we have to unlearn certain things in the area of healing. Where if you've been, maybe you've heard that it's not God's will. Well, according to these scriptures, we see it is God's will. So let's make these declarations. Let's say it above all things. Above all things. It is God's will, is God's will that, I prosper that I prosper and be in health, and be in health even, as my soul prospers. even as my soul prospers. Lord, Lord you, have you have restored health unto me and healed me, and healed of, me. All of all my wounds. You bring health and cure. And reveal, unto me and reveal unto me the abundance, the abundance of, peace and truth. of peace and truth. I am a child of Abraham, I'm a child of Abraham and I am loosed, and I'm loosed from, every from every bondage of Satan, of Satan. Every, infirmity, every infirmity, every weakness. Every weakness. I am loosed from it, loosed from it. In, Jesus name. in Jesus' name. Lord, Lord you, have blessed you have blessed my bread and water. And taken, sickness and taken sickness away from me. Away from me. I, declare I declare that I am redeemed, I am redeemed from, the from the curse of sickness. And I receive, and I receive the, blessing the blessing of healing, of healing. In, Jesus name. in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise God. Glory to God. Just receive your healing right now. Thank you, Lord. All of you watching us on live stream. As you've made those declarations with us, believe that the working word is already working in your body. Thank you, Lord. We receive it. Praise you, Jesus. We glorify you. Thank you for setting the captives free, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Look at somebody and say, the word is working mightily. The word is working mightily. The word is working mightily.